update on here. <clears throat> okay, another test tube today. Well, what was wrong was nothing to do with the endoscope, really. It was because I accidentally, uh, when I was changing settings and moving around, doing this and doing that, uh, saving my profile, actually, is what I was doing. Somehow, OBS Studio moved all the way over. Let's go to the desktop while we're at it. See, here's a video we're making. Okay, it moved all the way over here into to uh, desktop uh, for, I, I always forget the word they use, workspace. I call it desktops. Um, it moved over here, and it was, uh, I was just fixing, I decided <clears throat> to close it and open it back up to see if it would fix my problem with the camera. Well, I happened to, and I, I happened to, I decided to go in here <coughs> and watch it shut down. So I typed OBS, and uh, I said, oh, it's not shutting down. And I'd already seen the window go away, you know. And then I noticed up here at the top right, the little icon was still there. And I just now realized, the, I, I'm sure I knew this at some point, but the little red dot tells you you're recording. So I had uh, I had thought it had closed on me, or I, I thought I had closed it and forgot that I closed it, or it crashed. What had happened is it just moved. And uh, I, opened it, I opened up a second. You can evidently you can open up a second <laughs> instance of OBS Studio and it doesn't squawk at you or anything. I didn't realize that. So um, anyway, I just got through setting audio from Cam 2. I only had it in like Cam 2 stream in case I ever wanted to use it uh, just on that camera. And, like, and, and I decided to, uh, what, I, what I was able to do is copy it. You can right click and uh, say copy. And then you can just right click and paste into every scene real quick. So I put it into every scene. And then I went ahead and put a shortcut to turn uh, it on and off. So Control 2 does uh, cam Camera 2 audio. Code. Control 3 was already set, does ca uh, Camera 3 audio. And I went ahead and did Control 4 for the uh, mic aux. And hopefully I can live with that. I'm afraid I'll accidentally turn it off when I don't mean to because sometimes I hit Control. I think I'm hitting Control 3 and I hit Control 4, you know. But uh, I, I started to use Control M, you know, like M for mic, but uh, that was actually going to already do something in, uh, if I hit Control uh, 4, oh, let's see what happens. Okay, I was confused. Yeah, I was talking to myself. I hit Control Four, uh, and of course, I needed the mic. It doesn't matter what desktop you're in, uh, which I knew that would work just like I wanted to. Okay, now if I hit Control M, uh, I just okay. Let's try my. You know, see it does that. Whatever side you're on. Well, I thought it did whatever side you're on. There we go. I wasn't on the other side. Yeah, see whatever side you're on. It will uh, open, go up there, and, and bring up that. Uh, address window to go to different drives so I don't want to interfere I don't want to use that shortcut uh, that could cause that to happen you know like even when I'm off this window I'm afraid it has I've seen that happen before that's one reason why I'm leery of setting up these sh shortcuts something else I realized and I never remembered it from before but uh, I actually set these up by hitting control 3 I'd hit the right control and the, I mean control 2 you know control I was setting up control 2 for the mic from cam 2 and I was hit control 2 and it set it in there and said control 3 but then it wouldn't work wouldn't do anything and I kept messing around messing around I thought well maybe that side doesn't work and sure enough the control on the left plus the number 2 I'm talking about the number 2 not F2 sometimes I forget and hit that <laughs> um, it works so uh, oh and I also got lucky because when I did con uh, camera 3 there may be something changed now because I was able to put that audio cam 2 in every profile with the exact same name. Now, when I originally made all my profiles, I had to rename, see that one, audio cam 3 to desktop. I had to give each and every uh, scene a different name for the same source, audio cam 3. And so I had to go in there and put sh control 3 shortcuts on every one of those to get that to work. It was a pain. And it's a pain to keep track of it, too. So anyway... There we go. Uh, now let's do our camera checks. Okay, camera one seems okay. Camera two seems okay. <laughs> Getting my little 
<clears throat> ruler that I'm planning on using. I'm going to be making a video about that phone. That's the reason I'm doing all this. That's what I normally use for my audio. Uh, camera three, that will let that phone that's not turned on. One and two. And uh, one in desktop. Two in desktop. Uh, ten inch tablets not on. And there's the endoscope I'm going to be using here in a minute. Uh, Okay, well, I hit the wrong one, but that's camera two and endoscope. Camera one and endoscope. Yeah, that'll be the scene I'll be using in a minute, too. Camera two and endoscope. And camera three and endoscope, I won't be using it, but I did uh, set up the audio in it. Oops, now I'm actually... I think it focuses. When you're rolling your mouse wheel, it will focus on... Uh, sometimes if you have your mouse over anything in that audio window it will start raising the audio up and down so you got to really watch for that sometimes I do that and don't know it okay now here's my file I'm making CPU usage okay now let's go ahead and switch to cam, uh, audio on cam 2 audio on cam 2 yes I guess oh now I'm gonna oh, hit the uh, now I'm gonna hit the control uh, 4 control 4 here we go it should be. It should work like a charm, just like it always has with Camera 3's audio. But uh, um, but what? I completely forgot. I was sitting there. Oh, I just now realized. No, I don't think it is any lower. Let's see if there's any gain on that. Let's see. I just realized filters. Yeah, there's gains there. So oh, I already. Ha I guess I had that gain set on that one, so it got the right setting. For a minute there, I thought, uh oh, it may it may be too quiet, you know, but it's it's good. Okay, then there's camera one with audio on my uh, cam two, and uh, cam two is streaming audio and video, and I hope I don't get trouble with lag, but uh, so far so good. Hit that on accident one, uh, and and camera one and two, and then. Cam it's program. It's, everything's jumping around on me. I am not clicking. I did not click anywhere near way down there. I clicked. I clicked there. You can see where that's where I clicked, and I ended up down way down there. It does that sometimes. Sometimes that's me, but most when it goes that far apart, that ain't me. Something a little crazy about the. It may be my mouse. It's really old. It has been doing a few little odd things. It may be my mouse. It's got to be the mouse. Okay, so one in desktop, two in desktop. Endoscope, endoscope and cam two, endoscope and cam. That was cam one, endoscope and cam two. Now, okay, boy, I'm, right, I'm <coughs> rusty. Well, I haven't been feeling well for the last several days or a week, and that's why I haven't made any videos or done any work. And try, I'm feeling just well enough to try and do it, but I'm not too with it. All right, so, um, and on top of that, that phone is. Uh, that phone that's in the uh, endoscope right there, it is, uh, I was fixing to get it turned on to use it, and it was sitting there plugged in. I leave them plugged in, and then I turn the power uh, the, the power strip off every night. Well, it was sitting there plugged in, but it wasn't in battery, you know, just, just off, turned off like it, I thought it was uh, charging. It was actually in the screen. It does that sometimes. It'll go into the screen for uh, reflashing it, you know, for re restoring it or erasing the ROM, the onboard ROM, flash memory. So, um, and then I noticed that thing is swelled. The whole back of it swelled up, and, and it was very, it was very warm. That's what made me notice it. And I've seen, uh, read that, and seen it in videos. Uh, what can cause that is a battery. Getting old and overheating, or just you know, or being are being poorly made from the beginning. But uh, this one's old, so this is when I bought them. They were already you know last last year, year before, two or three years old, you know, and models, and then got them for 15 bucks each, and then and now I've had them for two or three years. So <coughs> anyway, um, thought I'd do a video about that. I'm gonna take that back off of it and look at it. <coughs> <coughs> first okay see if it looks like it's even going to be safe to use you know um okay so that's it let's go let's go back to the uh 
go to the desktop, I guess. Well, it doesn't help me anymore because I can't see my ca uh, camera four now. I mean, audio. I mean, okay, but that works. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot easier than, I'm having so much more trouble clicking. Uh, seeing the, I don't, my eyes are more messed up like last year or so, last six months. Having more trouble seeing where I'm clicking and clicking in the right place. I think maybe the keyboard will be better, hopefully. All right, let's play the music out and then maybe we'll be ready to.